Hey, how you doing today? I wanted to share something really healthy today. You find hardly any carbs in this one, unless you add rice, of course. But today it's to no long to home. I hope I said that right. But that is basically a Filipino style seafood mussels and ginger soup. And it's so yummy, so healthy. So these are the ingredients. Two tablespoons of oil tablespoons of oil, just your house oil right there. One half white onion. So I went ahead and minced it up, just one half white onion. Three cloves of garlic. So here is my house garlic right here, three cloves of that. One inch minced ginger. So here is my ginger. You're gonna see me mince it up into the pot here. One teaspoon of salt. I got my house salt here, okay. One pound of mussels. So these are, this is a brand of mussels I have today, Green Lipped Mussels by Ocean Kiss, premium quality. And they are, let's see, cold, pristine from the pristine and cold waters of New Zealand. So this is what they had at my um, local Asian store. And they're usually already kind of open for me and, of course, flash frozen. And here they are. I already cleaned them up. So here are some samples of them. And in some soups, people like to leave the shell, but you'll probably see me take them out of the shell only because this, these shells have a lot of <laughs> seafood product on them, barnacles and stuff. So I prefer just to go ahead and take them off the shelf. So you see me taking them off the shelf. So about one pound of that. And of course, for the soup, about four cups of water. And um, this is an interesting, my parents grow this one, this vegetable in the home. So I grew up eating this stuff. So this is called Chayote, spelled C-H-A-Y-O-T-E. And it's one of my favorite Filipino vegetables. And you know, in the past maybe 20 years, I've actually been seeing them sell this in the local grocers like Ralph's and Albertsons, kind of expensive, almost close to a dollar for one of these. For, for this soup, we want two of them, okay? So let's get started. All right, so let's go ahead and pan everything down. And just start adding the ingredients. Okay, two tablespoons of oil. One half white onion. Three cloves of garlic. One inch of ginger root mist. So I found this lovely tool here to help me. One teaspoon of salt. So if you're salt sensitive, you could put less, but let's just go ahead and put one teaspoon. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna mix that up a little bit, get it heated up. And then I last minute decided to add this vegetables, which would be this green bell pepper, which makes the tonola soup so good. And then also your other vegetable will be 
these, these spinach, and it'll make it so good and so healthy. So these are the favorite kind of added vegetables. Green bell pepper and spinach just add so much more healthy to the soup. Okay, so don't let me forget putting those in the light. So I'll go ahead and cut the bell pepper while you're watching me here for the soup. So I like these bell peppers kind of have a sample of my chayote here. I'm, so I'm going to make the bell peppers kind of thin like that too. And this is an excellent soup for winter time. And um, if you want to keep your carbohydrate count low, you'll still get a good full meal full of protein. All right. So here is a chayote. So I am going to try to cut this in front of you so you get an idea of how to go ahead and cut it. So I would say it has a, a consistency the way it feels. It feels like a very hard apple on the way that how hard I have to move the knife through the skin. It's like a hard apple. Okay, so that's what it looks like. So I'm gonna cut those into strips. So I'll probably make about, I would say like seven strips, okay? All right, so now we have to start adding, just start flavoring up our mustard here. So I put this fire on low, giving me a chance to add all the muscles. So I washed these earlier, so now you're going to just see me toss all of them. So, like I mentioned earlier, I don't really want the shells in there, so I'm just going to start tossing them in. Muscles are pretty big in size. And it looks like it was prepared already, so when I'm looking at the inside, that um, I guess that grass like thing has already been taken off for us. So if you open it up, there's none of that grass like hairy stuff. So this is what I was talking about. So just, if it's left behind, just take it off. That's inedible. No one wants to eat that for sure. <laughs> okay, so there it is again. So I'm just taking it off. Okay, so we got all our muscles in. So I would say that's about 15. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cook that up. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add my chayote. Okay. Alright, so got a good look at it there. So it's already simmering. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook this down, I would say about 10 minutes, but I would say in the last three minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and add the spinach and the bell pepper to give it that final flavor. And I'll see you in about 10 minutes. So you saw me 
put all the ingredients together. And so what I ended up doing, I ended up cooking it about 15 minutes and maybe after the first five minutes, I went ahead and added the four cups of water to make it a soup. I just wanted the herbs to kind of sink in into the, the mussels and the vegetables first before I added water because it will water it down. And so also with the ginger. So you saw me add two tablespoons of oil, one half white onion minced, three cloves of garlic, one inch of ginger minced, one teaspoon of salt, one pound of mussels with no shell. And then I added four cups of water later on. And you saw me add the shayori. And I also added near the end the spinach and the bell pepper. So, um, yeah, so this tortang, not tortang, <laughs> no long, <laughs> tahong turned out really, really good. And I'll show you here. All right. So, let me get you a close up. So, there it is. So much greens in that soup. It looks beautiful to me. And I can't wait to dig into this. So you could see the mussels, you could see all the green vegetables, the sashayote, and the soup turned a little bit yellow, but that's expected because of all the ginger and the greens. So let me plate it for you. Get you a close-up of this yummy stuff there you go so you can't cook this too long because then you'll cook down the spinach leaves too long and then if you cook the mussels too long you'll also make the mussels really really rubbery so 10 to 15 minutes okay there is another mussel Here are more mussels, and it's still piping hot. And so the nice thing about this, of course, you did not see me add fish sauce. So everybody has their reservations about fish sauce, whether you're Filipino or not. So I don't like putting fish sauce into my stews, but I will definitely add some in my own bowl if my soup is not salty enough because I do like salty but if you, for this one it was one teaspoon of salt but if you can't have that much salt just put one half teaspoon okay it'll still be delicious. Fia can you have me the fish sauce? All right, so add in more soup and here is the brand of fish sauce I have today. It's called Lucky Fish Sauce. So I dare not add this to the big bowl of soup I have here. I'll, ha I'll be adding it later off camera if I need it. Okay, so here you go. Tinolang Tahong. Mussels in ginger soup. Doesn't that look delicious? All right, so I'll let you go and I hope you try this and let me know how it goes. Take care.